Secretary Clinton and President Thane Sein met ahead of a business forum in Cambodia meant to encourage greater U.S. investment in Southeast Asia. We want to help you keep going. We're very uh, committed. She's sending American business leaders to Burma now that Washington has eased most restrictions on investment in recognition of ongoing political reforms. President Thane Sein says he welcomes new investment as Burma is at a crucial juncture putting an end to armed conflict and engaging with entrepreneurs, ethnic leaders and civil society. The government intends to protect profits from natural resources and focus on value-added industries, exporting teak furniture, for example, not just unfinished wood. Burmese bankers say looser U.S. sanctions will speed outside investment. Pei Mint is managing director of the cooperative bank. The function will be more uh, smoothly. That's why they can import export uh, functions will be very smoothly. That's why the country as a financial system will be developed. He's optimistic that opening up Burma will bring more opportunities for business cooperation. We are prepared for to prepare for the to making a joint venture with them. Yeah, one day the government we, I think the government will make the decision to allow us make joint venture with the other banks. The Obama administration suspended sanctions after legislative elections brought to office opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi. She's urged caution in the international community's engagement with Burma to avoid giving the military the false impression that the political transition is complete. We would expect all governments to encourage national reconciliation in Burma. In the end, of course, and to con uh, the, pe the peace process must be carried on by the people of Burma themselves. U.S. firms are still prohibited from doing business with Burma's military or with industries controlled by the Ministry of Defense. The new directive also expands sanctions on senior officials found to be undermining reforms. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Siem Reap, Cambodia.